Yo, what up? Hartwell Boy here. Day three vlog. I really didn't think I was going to make it this long. I'm so proud of myself. So, I just dropped off Grandma. She's taking one of her friends to the hospital for an appointment. Um, I'm going to Elberton right now. I'm just going to check out Walmart. But, we'll see. So... I was actually wasn't thinking about doing this until earlier today, so it's what ifs. Um, if y'all don't know about Elberton, Georgia, it is the it's not small like Hartwell, but it's gotten big. I mean, Blazers is in the old gas the gas station. I mean, the county fair is awesome. So if y'all ever come to Elberton, you're like. May the fair is awesome so so I forgot I was where I was at I'm almost in town I was vlogging and I totally just for, didn't even realize I was speeding so oh no no you Stupid train! God. Train. Okay, so I'm just leaving Walmart, uh, but um, I did get me a Mountain Dew, so. And it is back off to Hartwell Lago. Oh, Lordy, I'm kind of tired right now. People say I can't drive, but I think I can drive pretty well. Jolis in Hunan Chinese restaurant. Oh, please don't pull out in front of me. Oh, God. Goodness gracious, people. All you have to do is Welcome to Adventures with Gavin. Today, we are adventuring the Georgia Guidestones. I saw this on the way back. I've been here plenty of times, but I know some of y'all haven't. So, there's like a time capsule here and like something that shows like where north is. It's like the 12 commandments of the devil or something. I, don't, I can't remember exactly. The story of the Georgia Guidestones began in June of 1979 when a stranger identified as Mr. Christian, later R.C. Christian, visited Joe Finley Sr. Wow. Those are the Guidestones. I wonder if I can read some of here. I know one of, I know one of them is like there can't be more than 500, I think that's like 500 million people on earth. So like once 500 people million on earth get here. Oh, okay, you can read it right here. I just got to get out of the way of the sun. All right, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Guide reproduction wisely. Improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity with a living new language. Rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally 
for resolving external disputes in a world court, avoid petty laws and useless officials, balance personal rights with social duties, prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite, be not a cancer on the earth, leave room for nature, leave room for nature, it says that twice, okay, and it has it like in all the different languages, like, I know there's Chinese, I think this is like, I don't know what this is, it's like little scribble stuff, like India, I think, um, and then they have transcribed over here, but it's in like a different corner, like it's formatted to the wrong side of the page, according to me, I don't know about that language. This language I do not know about. Oh, there's another half to the English side. Okay. Wait, no. That's Espanol. Um, Greek or Latin is what this is. That's Spanish. And then there's a little monument over there that tells you all about it. Um, oh, there's like Indian markings on top. I think that's Indian markings on top. They really need to clean that. And then there's, like I said, there's a time capsule here. Um, here, let me see. Oh, this is like an explanation of what it means. Okay, okay, here's, it says all the languages right here. English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Hebrew, Arabic, Japanese, and Russian. Okay. Astronomic features. Channel through stone indicates... I'm not going to read all that. Sponsors. A small group of Americans who seek the age of reason. Time capsule was placed six feet below this spot and to be opened on. It has no date. So. Let these guidestones be an age of reason is what it says. And they were planted here on March 22nd, 1980. Okay, so this, I'm facing north right now. Okay, so that way's north. Oh, and if y'all ever try to come here and like vandalize this place, you will get caught because there are like two cameras. Actually, oh my gosh, there's three now. Okay, so don't ever try to come here and vandalize it. Additional information available at Elberton Granite Museum and Exhibit, Georgia Avenue, I mean College Avenue, Elberton, Georgia. It does not say when, like, the time capsule can be opened. I mean, that confuses me. I mean, has the time capsule already been opened or what? I don't know. It's really, like, weird. Alright, and that was Adventures with Gavin. I'm back. I don't know how much longer. I would like to meet you. I would like for y'all to meet the most important person, my most favorite custodian ever. This is Ron Leverett. Ron, What's you're up? gonna be What's on my up? vlog. School, cool with me. Alrighty. It's my boy right here. Don't bother me. You come and get me. And I know what to do with these pythons on you. Peace out. The best high school basketball player in Park County in what year? 76 through 79. 76 through 79, best basketball player Hart County had. Alrighty, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next few hours. My phone is on 68%, so I'm good. I don't know what in the world I'm gonna do. So y'all stay tuned, let's see what happens. Ooh,
we got to fix it. The master light bulb changer. He's losing his touch. Can't get a light bulb. He's got the suction cup now. He's going to lick it. Let's see if he can get the... He finally got it. So, my phone is on, I think it was like, four, yeah, it's on 42% right now. And I'm only at 3 o'clock. So, that's not good. And yes, I'm on a hoverboard, so that's why I'm like, just... What? But I'm fixing to go, I'm fixing to mess with the computer that we, that I use to live stream Sunday mornings and put some lower thirds, like introductory, ah, uh -huh. like some introductory titles for like everybody whenever they go up there to speak. So that way when I record it, it'll be on there. So that way I don't have to go back through and do it. That way it's a one-time shot. Once I get done recording, I can create the file. Come on. 